Look, look, look. I just think of this pyro. I don't write it nor take my time. They spending days trying to think of a lie, yo. The truth before Mark, I sold grams and kept it business with the plug, fam. I'm just linking the bio. It's the guy Gioli, repping Gioli.com, and this is not a literal reaction. I repeat, this is not a literal reaction. So if you one of them niggas that's about to be like, you know, this is not a reaction to the... If you just want to look in a nigga face when they hear some music and shit like that, it ain't that. But this is a breakdown. And I'm going to break it down. Dr. Dre, actually, close to where I live. Dr. Dre, Mary J. Blige, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, 50 Cent, Eminem, Super Bowl halftime show. Um, Of course, it's my favorite halftime show. Let me just say that. For, no, first and foremost, let me say... I think niggas forgot about Jay-Z. So let's just give props to Jay on, on definitely making it happen and facilitating. You couldn't see nothing like this happening without Jay-Z being involved in it. So um, I think everybody forgot the elephant in the room, which is Jay-Z. So shout out to Jay for making this happen for, for L.A., for, you know what I mean, with everything that L.A. just went through, you know what I mean? Um, Draco passing, uh, Slim 400, um, Nip everything like all oh, the whole combination it just felt like man shit gonna be all right you know what i mean like la really lift their spirits with the the rams winning and it is good for the city i'm gonna be honest with you man like being a resident um you could just feel the vibration raise soon as soon as it looked like they was going win. you know what i mean like i started hearing fireworks from the from the crib soon as before it was over it was like two minutes left they just start fucking with the fireworks you get what i'm saying so it's big, and so, you know, most likely, man, I don't know the particulars, but Jay had to, come on, Jay, Jay at the NFL now, Dr. Dre is, come on, let's put two and two together, right, so, and first and, and, and second, it was my favorite joint, it was my favorite joint ever, because, come on, like, who the fuck, like, even if musically it wasn't my favorite joint, how the hell this not gonna be my favorite one with rappers that i fuck with like you know what i'm saying i never had no rappers that i really fuck with on the shit that had this much time to rap so it was a 15 minute show about 12 minutes of it was rap and all from legends it's nothing to not love about this shit at all and the one that wasn't rapping was mary j blige and she's a hip-hop legend so even even the rap the shit that ain't rap is hip-hop you know what i'm saying so this is a big night man for hip-hop i'm gonna be honest with you um and I really get what Mary J. Blige was saying about not getting paid for this shit. Because the what you're going to get in endorsements, like, she was on three commercials during the Super Bowl. Played three times. So, what you ain't get, what she didn't get for the Super Bowl, she got back ten times just in endorsements and brand level where it's going to take you. Like, I didn't really realize the Super Bowl was going to be that big of a deal for Dr. Dre and Mary J. Blige and Snoop Dogg. Because Snoop Dogg is the most famous rapper ever. Dr. Dre is like right next to him. Mary J. Blige is the biggest brand in, in R&B, not named, you know, Beyonce or some shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Um, Like it's Beyonce, Rihanna, you know, all the pop stars. And then it's Mary J. Blige. When you talk about real R&B, she the top. So I didn't really see what this was going to do for her. Eminem is the most famous white man that raps. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar is top tier. 50 Cent is a top tier brand. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, I don't really see what the Super Bowl going to do for him. But now, feeling the impact, I see, okay, it's still a lot of people who don't really know what they do. It's still a lot of people who is familiar but not familiar. You get what I'm saying? But let me get into the breakdown breakdown. So, it started off with, um, who started this shit off? Dre. Dre started off with Snoop. They was doing uh next episode. Um, Dre let snoop shine first so snoop come right out there now this is why i fuck with snoop because we already knew what snoop was gonna do bro we already know snoop was about to smoke his bud snoop was about to throw his c up i hope my c wasn't bad i ain't no crip and motherfucking crip ball and that's all i wanted to see i wanted to see it and i'm gonna be honest with you i'm a nigga from the projects i just wanted to see a nigga crip walk and smoke weed at the Super Bowl. That was good enough for me. The nigga couldn't even... The nigga didn't even have to say no words. You get what I'm saying? Nigga could have came out and just... And as long as he crip walk, we was good. So the nigga... 
not only crip walk, but he crip walked the entire time. The nigga didn't even walk walk. The nigga just crip walked the whole time. So we good. Um, I fuck with Snoop. Snoop was actually my second favorite performance. My first favorite performance we're getting into in a second. But that was my second favorite performance of the night. Then they go into... I think it went right in the fifth, I believe. Yeah, I think it went in the fifth. Um, the order might be... I might be fucking up the order. But I'm, yeah, yeah, they pointed down and went to fifth. So yeah, this nigga 50, first of all, wasn't advertised on the shit at all. So it's nobody could... And he was just on an interview and they was asking him, yo, they performing at the Super Bowl, Dr. Dre and Eminem. He was like, yeah, man, good for them guys. And this, that, and the third. And then I see the nigga. I'm like, oh, he's fucking playing us. The nigga played us. So he was on there. The nigga was upside down like he was in the in the club video. Then he stood himself right side up. Now, I'm going to tell you where 50 fucked up at. 50 fucked up because he was kind of out of shape. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga looked a little... Nigga looked a little swole, pause. Um, you know, and I think hanging upside down kind of fucked his breath up from hanging upside down and trying to get down. So, like, when he was rapping, it wasn't as impactful as 50 usually is because old 50 would have killed that performance. You get what I'm saying? But if I had to pick a least favorite performance, it'd probably be, mm, no, he's my second least favorite performance. I get to my first least favorite performance. I know it's not proper English, but fuck it. We niggas. Um, so then it go from 50 to Kendrick. Yeah, that's how it went. Yep. Did it go from 50 to Kendrick? No. It went from 50 to Mary. Then Mary tossed it to Kendrick. Either way, we're going to go to Mary. I think it went from 50 to Mary. So Mary, clearly my, my favorite one uh, of the bunch. Like, she came out, you know what I mean? She did her Dr. Dre classic. Let's get it crunk up on it, right? But I knew she was going to go into some real shit. Oh, man. She, she threw on that No More Drama. That was the moment. Whole crowd got silent. She bodied that shit. The vocals was on point. She snapped. She fucking fell out. You know what I mean? It was ridiculous. So she stole the show, in my opinion. She stole the night. Um, then it went to Kendrick. Kendrick, not gonna lie, a little more theatrical than the performance was like. It could have been less theatrics, more performance for me because Kendrick is the type of nigga. Like, I've seen him perform Good Kid, Mad City going crazy you get what i'm saying i think this was a little more contrived a little more theatrical a little more staged and it really didn't translate as well on camera the cinematography was ridiculous during it but it still was like not translating the way his videos do you get what i'm saying and it's hard to pull that off live and 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 his voice wasn't uh as powerful as i remember it in the past so i mean dope performance it just was like my second uh, least favorite performance, you know, so, uh, then it went to Marshall, now, Eminem is the clear favorite, as soon as Eminem come on, you can hear the fucking roar from the crowd, it's like this, they've been waiting on this moment, it's the only motherfucker they know, and this is another thing I realized, Eminem can't help being white, like, he can't help being white, the nigga is white, when they see, when white people see white people, they're happy as shit. Like, they white. You get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like, when they see a... Imagine you being a white person. You might be a white person watching this. But you're a white man. You come from a certain time where it was all black artists. Eminem come along. He's with the blackest black niggas. He's with Dr. Dre and niggas like that. I'm talking about the 6'4 riding black niggas. He holding it down for the white community. I mean, it's, it is what it is. He can't help being white, bro. So... I got to kind of take a little bit of my smoke off Eminem because even though he white as shit, he can't help it. So the crowd go crazy for Eminem. Like they've never seen like the nigga was fucking Michael Jackson. I'm gonna be honest with you last night. And um, the fucking house blew off. Somehow he was still standing on it. The nigga goes into America's favorite rap song, Lose Yourself. I don't think he came out with that initially, but he went into Lose Yourself. And um, they went crazy. You know, they know all the words to that shit. And uh, yeah, it was it was dope. It was a dope performance. Only thing I don't fuck with about Eminem, M, we know you're old, man. We know you're old. You old, you look old. Nigga, show your face. I'm tired of this nigga wearing disguises, man. The nigga had on a, a hat and a hoodie that's unnecessary. Is you cold or is, it, or is it sunny? I'm just trying to figure it out. Who wears a hat with a hoodie like the little nigga on Bebe's kids, bro, with the Raiders hat with the hoodie on. This nigga is... Yo, just... 
Why does nigga want to be such a fucking mystery all the time? Like, the nigga just want to be low and rapping palms and sweaty. Knees weak. Uh, nigga got his... The nigga got a hat, a hood, and his head is down. Nigga, all I can see is a white beard. Not white beard, but like a beard of a white man. Um, that, that, if that wasn't Eminem, I wouldn't be surprised. I did not see the Tupac hologram. I heard about the Tupac hologram. Did not see the Tupac hologram. I don't know why. Maybe the Tupac hologram was busy that day. I don't know. I didn't see it. So I was I was expecting a Tupac hologram when they did California Love. I said, oh shit. Pac about to blow the roof off from the grave. But really didn't happen. I, I really don't know why, honestly. Um, but the museum is opening up in LA. If you're in LA, go visit that Pac Museum. I'm definitely going to make a trip down there. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just tell you on a personal note, man. I'm glad y'all motherfuckers left LA though. Because parking, getting in my own house was starting to become a task. Like, Y'all niggas got to go. Like, I'm glad the Rams won. I hope y'all not sticking around for no victories or no shit today. Because I got shit to do. Nigga, I couldn't drive nowhere for three days. The shit was ridiculous. So, I'm glad everybody from Idaho and Cincinnati. It, Idaho is not even a... I mix Ohio with Idaho. But everybody in Montana and all that shit. North Dakota. I'm glad y'all went back to where the fuck y'all from. And um, we can get back to this business. But Dr. Dre closed it out with Still Dre. And I thought it was a, or still DRE, and I thought it was a full circle moment because Jay Z actually wrote the song, and Jay Z actually facilitated the the Dr. Dre thing. So uh, it was, it couldn't have ended on a better note. I'm be honest with you. Now Dre, come on, man, Dre is 86 years old, man. I'm not really expecting too much, you know what I mean? But he was rapping this shit a little off beat, not off beat, but not the way it was written initially. You know what I'm saying? Like if it was like it's still Dre Day, nigga. AK nigga, they'd be like, it's still Dre Day. It's like it just was a little, little off. Not that part specifically, but I'm just saying, like, he wasn't. But for an 80 year old nigga, bodied it. Snoop Dogg is damn near 80, bodied it. Mary J. Blige bodied it. Everybody else was cool. They did their thing. Eminem was probably like, you know, four on the list. Kendrick, five, 56. And, um, Good night for hip hop, bro. It was just a good. It was just good, man. It was good. It's my favorite Super Bowl joint ever. Clearly, right? Because what? Uh, fucking Shakira and Jennifer Lopez and like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really have much to pick from as a nigga that fuck with hip hop. So I know I'm spitting, but fuck. Um, Mr. Guy Gioli, Reverend Gioli .com. Thanks for listening to my breakdown, motherfucking. It's a list of shit, a new shit. That's on Spotify that I fuck with called Gioli.com new ish. Click the link in the description. Subscribe, nigga. Subscribe. Subscribe, yo. I look, I was trying to be a nigga that's like, yo, I'm not gonna tell niggas to subscribe because I'm too cool and I don't like that shit. I don't feel like when niggas keep saying subscribe, hit the bell as well. I don't fuck with that, but you gotta say it because niggas won't subscribe. So yo, subscribe, bro. Like, I see y'all niggas watching my shit. I wanna see you subscribe. Like, there's no way. 90% of my views coming from unsubscribed motherfuckers. So I got to say it, obviously. Subscribe, like, comment, do all that shit. I'm coming with new shit all the time. My, my my point of view is nobody has. Nobody is a this dope of a rapper that even sit down and do this shit. You get what I'm saying? Nobody is of the culture. That's a that's a, the age that I am that could break down 88, 98, 08. 2018 still in it like it's nobody with my perspective so you got to lock in with me man gioli gioli.com and we out here these godly words that be coming through my quotes Got the devil trying to chase me But the nigga scared to face me He keep coming through my folks I always see him in the eyes of these slothful and jealous guys It's crazy They do the least, wanna see you and do the most 